I am Mustafa Zirahman, Director of Education at Austria's Education Team in South Asia and based out of Bangladesh. Recent years have seen Bangladesh progress towards liberalization of regulations governing foreign institutions. In Bangladesh, since April 2014, foreign universities have been able to establish independent campus under the Private University Act 2010, subject to the approval of the University Grants Commission. Bangladesh continues to enjoy strong GDP growth, a rising middle class, with a young demographic with a medium age of 26. The supply of quality education training for the majority of young Bangladeshis has not kept pace with the demand generated by increased wealth and population growth. It is very important for Bangladesh to ensure the future workforce can pick up skill and contribute to the economic growth. According to the Ministry of Education, the increase of private providers in an unregulated environment has led to issues with the quality of course delivery. Participation rates in higher education remain low within Bangladesh. And as a result, there remains a shortage of suitably skilled graduates to meet industry demands, while there is an immediate employability problem for graduates. On February 25th, UGC issued a circular allowing Australia to open a pathway study center under the 2014 legislation. This is the first and only international education study center approval given by the government of Bangladesh. And it is a major breakthrough. Is there a market in Bangladesh for so many institutions to come and run world-class services? Yes. Demographic and industrial trends in Bangladesh indicates to a positive trend. Bangladesh is a market that warrants greater attention because of its growth profile and lower levels of competition. There is an opportunity for the Australian education institution to work in clusters to capitalize the opportunity and establish Australia as the preferred partner and premium brand for education. I hope that the market dynamics highlighted by Kanishka and will help you to understand Sri Lanka and Bangladesh markets for potential team in collaboration. And we look forward to working with you to develop Australian TNE programs in South Asia.